Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to The Maw. What are, you, are you trying to eat this? Are you... Uh, Maw. Are you trying to eat this rock? Where apparently a whole, like, zoology worth of uh, captured animals has run away from this bird... What is the deal with this bird? Is this bird more dangerous than it looks? Ma, you've got tons of teeth. <laughs> Truly how you... How you spawn fear in the uh, animal kingdom is lots of feathers. Okay, so I can't call him on this side. I wonder if I have to do something... Let's head over to this question mark. What are you, sir? You have been knocked unconscious for some reason. All right. Do I knock you out with this? Oh my, no feathers, nothing to fear. He is out of his ultimate weapon, which is the appearance of fear. But now is not the time for fear. That comes later. Oh, do I start off with the special power? Uh. Uh. Oh my, all right. This is different. <laughs> Again, it's it's just kind of fun how uh, he kind of like waddles his way. Oh no, now I'm eating people. Ah, uh, jeez, Ma. Your carnivorous habits know no bounds. It's too bad none of these guards will wake up before they're consumed. Also, it's too bad this game doesn't have a run button, but... Like, that's... I suppose that's the thing. When, you, when you've got a company making a uh, 3D game and it's their first game, and their first game is in 3D. Like, essentially, you're you're having all of the learning, uh, the stumbling learning blocks, like, right at the beginning of their career. Um, which, like, if you look at, uh, Pix uh, sorry, Twisted Pixel after this point, like, the next 3D game that they made might just be on VR. Because from this point on, they did uh, Splosion Man, Miss Splosion Man, Comic Jumper, and all of those are 2D. Also, I just went in the completely wrong direction. Huh. So yeah, those are all 2D games. Uh, Gun Stringer is technically 3D. But you only kind of control Gun Stringer in like a, a plane of existence. It's not like you have full 3D control. You only can go like Gun Stringer is uh, the main character is always running forward, and you can move him left, right, up, down. One second while I like. Uh... Oh, hold on. I have lasers. And then Loco Cycle 
is very similar to Gunstringer, in which case you're always moving forward. Um, where the only the main difference being that Gunstringer controls with the Kinect, and Loco Cycle controls with a controller. All right, this is definitely a different experience if I've got lasers. Let us... Destroyer of Yums. Well, I guess now we know what those things are called. Get back here. Very convenient that uh, Ma is able to eat a lot of them at one time. Oh my. I've also apparently uh, knocked out this, uh, like, does this snail kind of- oh. Okay, so there are turrets, but I also have lasers. All too easy. Yeah, it seems like they're permanently stunned, which is fine. Eat. Now, I suppose the next, uh, like the more 3D game that they've made would be in VR, but VR presents a different kind of A different kind of experience than like your uh, 3D platformer. So they've definitely had an interesting career or a uh, library over the years. Oh, hello. Though I'm clearly not in that much danger. Oh. Having grown so powerful, I can sweep up the latest bout of victims in one fell swoop. Like... Like, I wonder uh, if there was a, a... There wasn't ever a sequel to this game. And the thing with sequels in video games is they offer something that... Uh, oh, hold on. I just realized that first stone at the beginning of the level might have a secret. But anyway, yeah. That's the thing with sequels in video games. They're very iterative. Like uh, that first game, like Assassin's Creed to Assassin's Creed 2, for instance. Like, they wouldn't have been able to make Assassin's Creed 2 if they hadn't already cut their teeth on Assassin's Creed 1. Um, they figured out the formula, and they moved on to make something of it. Like, if there was a Maw 2, like, what would that have entailed? What further refinement? Like, Miss Splosion Man is a further refinement to Splosion Man. And doubles down on features, on level design, story design. But it's interesting to think about, like, what they could have taken this, what uh, other lengths they could have taken this game in. Um, for one, the fact that the game isn't particular, like, it is des clearly designed not to be difficult. Um, there isn't exactly that much challenge to it. But there is some thought about keeping, about making sure that the player 
isn't necessarily bored. Uh, making sure everything's motivated to move forward. Um, to try to keep the repetitive aspects of the experience from slowing the game down. Like the ability to eat like multiple animals who happen to be nearby each other. Which is something... Especially when you have, uh, like, longer animations, like Maw has. Like, you look at, um, Feeding Frenzy, which is also on the Xbox, where you control that little fish that has to eat smaller fish until it becomes... Is there anything? There is nothing. I went all the way back for nothing. That's fine. Um, and you're eating all of these small fish in order to become big, so you can eat bigger fish in order to become bigger, in order to eat bigger fish in order to become bigger. Um, usually there's no animation for the consumption of fish. Uh, you move your fish over to the other fish. And it automatically gets consumed. Like, where, whereas here, there's more animations that play in order to, as you eat the various life forms that exist on this planet. Does that count? That probably counts. There we go. Oh, that's the hidden thingy. That's what I was expecting to find. So there's animations that play out that are meant to give the Maw more personality. He's not just a fish, he's a monster that has more personality, more character to him. But, if you... St it's still one of those feeding games, so if you see the same animation play out over and over and over again, like, it'll see... Uh, the farther you get in the game, the farther you end up having to consume these same smaller enemies, like... It might be considered a little bit more tiresome to have to gobble up every single individual monster you see. And so the fact that they've added in um, animations that allow you to actually gobble up groups of monsters rather than just individual ones and then with every single level that passes by, you access new abilities that make dealing with those old encounters easier. Like, instead of having to dodge a whole bunch of cannons for this level, I'm just blasting everything with lasers. Yes. Stand out in the open. I wonder, does the Maw actually take any any da uh, damage? Like, if I s just stood there and took hits, would the Maw eventually die? Right now, it doesn't seem like that would be the case. And while the lack of difficulty would have probably been odd back in when it came out, I think now kind of looks a little bit more purposeful. Like, uh... Over the years, from the emergence of Xbox Live Arcade, um, there's been the gradual decreasing of difficulty, where you see uh, games getting criticized for all you have to do being, like, hide behind cover to regenerate your health. 
and how regenerating health eventually led to um, more difficult games like the Dark Souls series having a resur like that resurgence of high difficulty games. But I would also say that these games have th these days there's also been a rise in more calm, um, slower, slower games that are just kind of meant to be. I wouldn't necessarily say the word is therapeutic. Stress-free. Stress-free games. Like games like, say, Unpacking. Games which you can't necessarily lose. And what you gain is necessar isn't necessarily the challenge of playing the game, but the experience of playing the game. And while I would, I would imagine that like like Explosion Man is a challenging game. Miss Explosion Man is actually pretty difficult. Um, I would imagine if there was a Maw two, the decision would probably wouldn't go towards difficulty uh, in combat, difficulty in platforming. Although the eyes of the Beloofer, very nice. I get that reference. Um, I would probably say, like, this game would probably start leaning closer to, uh, like, a boy in his blob, where you would have more puzzles based on the different creatures Maw is able to turn into. Not to mention, also, maybe, like, uh, more variety in... Can I destroy these trees? Are they too far away? They are too far away. That's fine. Not all trees have to be burned down. Oh, I see you there. But all life forms must be eaten. Can I climb up this? Another thing they could have done towards a sequel to the Maw is perhaps maybe combining abilities. Like you eat these two different creatures in order to create a different effect. Oh, are they dropping a bomb on us? Um, that had much... Oh, this guy's too close. Our eyes are too high to see. And then there's this little guy who's riding on top of Maw, reveling in the destruction. When escaping this planet, Maw has become his protector, but also a destroyer of worlds. So yeah, um, more interesting puzzles. Puzzles that involve more uh, monster types. You could probably even have like more uh, like monster types that have more involvement with platforming. Maybe like you can access different monster features uh, at the same time, depending on what button you press. So like right now. Left trigger and right trigger do nothing. But let's say I... 
ha start having more abilities, I can then start it accessing them just via that way. Either way, on one hand, it's too bad we never quite got, uh, got a sequel to this. On the other hand, they went on to make Splosion Man from here. And that led to Miss Splosion Man, which is, which are both fantastic games. Although of the two, like Miss Splosion Man is to Splosion Man what Miss Pac-Man is to Pac-Man. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, hello. I mean, is he in any danger? The answer is no. Not yet. All right, and now we have lost our ability because we have moved on to another level. Why, hello. Uh, yeah, I could just... So I think before I was doing more slamming, um, or should I say more throwing, and throwing is less accurate. When I could easily just slam and then toss. Much more efficient monster feeding. All right, so there is the exit to the level, which for the first time in a while is actually visible from the entrance to the level. All right. Ah, back to dodging. Although I see these, um, these, uh, air cannons, so I'm sure I'll be getting one of those abilities. There we go. And then another sick dodge in slow motion. All right, where are you taking me? I'm guessing, I figure they probably, like, they made this uh, type of sequence and they're like, we can't just use it for one level. But also the Maw kind of gives itself off as a very much of like a reality, not a reality, a variety show. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Like you look at classic games like uh, Battle Toads. Like Battle Toads is very much a variety show. In that like every s Oh, should I have? Yes. In that, like, every single level is trying to do something different. Like, there's a beat-em-up level. There's a, uh... A level... A vertically scrolling level. Uh... A bike ride level. A different kind of bike ride level. Like, every level is trying to do something different. And that's kind of, like, rare rares thing and looking at this game it does have a little bit of rare aesthetic to it and get rid of you now can I also get rid of the other one right over there using the exact same tactic. Uh. 
Get rid of you. Alright. Though, now that I have the ability to get this guy... Like, let's grab... All right, excuse me. Let's slam you on, oops, nope. Let's slam you on these rocks. Now, will that guy notice? Yes, he will, excellent. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of teeth. Consume! Ugh. I don't- I just don't really like how... How, like, grimy his mo his mouth becomes when you feed him that- whatever that is, the balloon creature. Like, it just becomes so... disgusting. Though, what am I criticizing? A game where you run around and lead this monster to consume everything? And complain that it becomes kind of gross? Alright. Eat these guys. Oh. Whoops. My bad. I should have done this. Was that everything? That was everything. Good job, Maw. You ate them all. Also, I f like with the music makes me feel like I'm watching like the Home Shopping Network in the 50s. I wonder if, th is this, uh, like, has Twisted Pixel always had, um, Chainsaw? I want to say that Chainsaw something or other is the, uh, is the artist who does the, or the musician who does the music for, uh, Twisted Pixel games. And I don't remember if they've all, like, if they've had him from the start. Or at what point he joined the company. I'll have to check the credits. At some point. Not right now, because I am consuming the flesh of the innocents. Why, hello. Your lives do not matter. Do they? No, they do not. That's fine. That That's less that I have to worry to eat. Um, but I'm clearly not tough enough to get past the cannon, as the game has not informed me I can. Which is interesting. Uh, the entire idea that, like, progress is so clearly delineated. Yeah. No technology. Only ludites on this planet. Also, no trees. Yeesh. Like, at any point is this character who's leading the Maw around going to be a little bit worried that they're just kind of, like, leading around a giant, horrible monster everywhere? Are they going to have some regrets? Or are they just going to live their entire life here, no regrets, just... Oh, hello. Little bit of platforming. All right. Not entirely sure which direction I'm supposed to go, although I suppose at this stage, the basic direction is Go around, eat, 
Get big. Oh. Can maybe consume that thing over there? I think that's the plan. And we've done what I was hoping the sequel would do. We've switched uh, abilities. Ah, such danger. All right, but now that I have, oh my, am I actually running slower? Okay. Uh, now that I actually have his electricity powers, I can get rid of the cannon. Alright, how close do I need to get to... Oh yeah, I can throw. Whoops, my bad. Zap him! Zap! Alright. And throw! Ha! Ah. Am I just not big enough yet? Do I have to go back around and... Ah. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be problematic. Oh, no, there are some uh, creatures I can dig up over here, like this fellow. And these fellows. Ah! Now I should be big enough to move on. Excellent. And I've already dealt with the turret, so that's not going to be an issue. We might as well see if there's anything else for Ma to scarf down in this direction. Hmm. Now, I don't think I can actually deal do anything with these trees anymore because I've shifted to a different version. But I suppose... Tastes like snot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just cut to the end of the level then. Actually, let's not cut that far. Clearly, I was a little bit rushed in order to try out, in order to proceed with the game. Oh my gosh. Mom, keep going. 
because if I had held on to that original ability longer, then I would have been able to consume more throughout the level. Get a little bit closer to that 100% consumption rate. But I suppose not for now. For now, I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.